Today, I'll show you how to properly terminate or put the ends on RG11 cable. Doing this correctly will ensure a good connection to all of the various components of your signal amplifier. Improperly terminated cable results in poor connection, which means less signal getting to the signal booster, and ultimately, less coverage area in the building. You'll need an RG11 stripping tool and an RG11 crimper to get the job done right. Some dikes or a cutting tool are also handy to have around for the job. First, take the RG11 stripping tool and line it up with the edge of your cable. Spin the tool around the cable several times. You'll feel the stripper cut through the shielding as you spin it around the cable. Pull the stripping tool off and remove any remaining pieces that are still connected. You'll be left with something like this. Peel the braided metal shielding back so it looks like this. Make sure that no metal shielding makes contact with the center pin. Slip the RG11 connector onto the cable. Be sure that the center conductor from the cable is properly inserted into the pin already in the connector. If the center conductor is too long, trim it off and try again until it fits properly. Do not trim the pin on the connector. Place the connector and the cable into the RG11 crimper and crimp down firmly, bouncing the crimper a few times to ensure you've got a good solid crimp. With that, you're done. Now just measure out your cable to the proper length and repeat the process on the other end. Check out one of these videos for more tips like this. And don't forget to subscribe for more great videos like this every week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.